What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Joe Molly, a.k.a. How You Gonna Sleep on the Molly. You already know what it is. Um, so, I'm gonna do a tutorial. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a tutorial, but basically, I'm just gonna show you how I would make a beat for Gunner. Alright, so I'm not just gonna do exactly what Weezy would do. I'm gonna do what I would do for Gunner. Alright, so, y'all producers out here, I still want y'all to feel like you gotta be creative. Like, you kinda wanna know what's going on. But, like, the way you separate yourself from others is kind of like putting your own flip on things. All right, cool. So, I'm going to go sound by sound. I'm going to show y'all all, all my effects, plugins, um, my thought process while making the beat. Um, also, it's like some of the short keys, you know, like anything that's going to help improve your workflow is help as well. So, if you find this video really helpful and um, something that you feel like you, you, actually, you actually got something from this, uh, just make sure y'all like the video, um, subscribe to my channel, I'm doing a $100 giveaway, follow me on IG, uh, follow my labels page on IG, and subscribe to this channel, I'll be doing a live at a thousand, so um, y'all just make sure y'all subscribe, tune in. Alright y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get into this tutorial, um, we're gonna start off with the keys, alright, so these are the keys. notes um, just to kind of like fill it in and then I got the basic chords and here I drew in some melodies at the top here okay so if you guys just want to look at it um, you guys can kind of just look take notes and kind of like peek in from what's going on so this sound I loaded down Cause it was just so loud just kind of had to tame the sound and i have this com effect on here this is from guitar rig it's called the creamy snowflake and i have this jazz amp okay i really didn't do much to it as you can see with the amp i just load this down and then i compressed this up all right um and then i eq'd it i took out some of the low end and just Brought it down just a little bit. Like I said, the sound was kind of like pretty loud. So I just wanted to tame that sound. And then I put a little stereo on there um, just to kind of widen it. And then I panned it to the left just a little bit. So usually when you do the stereo track, if you pan it to the left, you head to the right. Okay, so that's basically what I did with the melody. So it starts off low and then it turns into a high melody. So as you can see, it starts off right here a little bit closer. <laughs> ways to kind of get a quick idea out see if you like it or not um you basically just change the octaves of the track you start with a low octave then you go up to a high octave if you're not familiar with doing that you hit command a on the macbook um hit the up button um and it'll go up then command down it go down command d to the select okay and that's basically it for that sound i got both of them on literally on the same track then um, we have this. I kind of just based the same thing I had on the keyboard melodies, but I took out the melodies at the top. I just wanted this one to be straightforward. I didn't want all the extra stuff going on. I felt like, okay, the beat is bouncing, a lot is going on, but like, okay, let's get into real rock star mode, okay? So I kept the chorus and I kept the lower bass tones and that's basically on the same plug-in chain that I have right here, literally all the same effects, okay? And that's basically you kind of just knowing music and knowing how to flip things to work in your advantage like when you're making a beat, especially if you got on um, producer's box. So we could get to the drums now. It's the 808. 
So for the 808 guys, all I I turned it all the way up. Cause I need my 808 to not. Yeah, like I can't have my 808 all the way down. Now there's no right or wrong way when you're making music. Like you just gotta, you just gotta do it. So my 808s are all the way up. So basic 808s, as you can see, I'm just kind of like, I got a melody and a vibe to it. And you just really want to have rhythm when you're making these music, you know, like you got to have that feel, you got to have that soul. Like. And then if you want to learn how to do a slide, beginners, if you've been producing for a while, you guys probably know this, but uh, beginners, this is how you do slide, hit this, accept, and a slide, as you can see. Just want to create a vibe and then basic hats basic hats i just turned them up a little bit and let's see what i did on the master track i just panned it to the right just to give it space if you want to create space in your beats you just want to make sure that you pan certain stuff and that will kind of widen the tracks up Okay, so that's what I did for the hats. And the 808s from McMurray, I think everything was out the McMurray pack. So he got a dope pack. I like what they're doing over there. Um, then basic class. And if you're somebody who always have like, if you're bad at drums, I'll always just start a beat like this if I was you guys, okay? Just simple hats. Like, it's always easy to start a beat like this. So this is just a, this is just a tip. And other than that. Let's see. Oh yeah, guys. And for the clap, as you can see, the clap is all the way up. All right. So, 808s all the way up. My clap is all the way up. There's no right or wrong way. It's whatever you feel. And then I have this open hat. I ain't got nothing on this. Um. <laughs> So this is basically how you make a beat for Gunna.